everybody, welcome to Redstone for Blockheads. Alright, yeah, it's pretty much a double feature today, guys, because I got a second video out for you today, and now we're moving right on to T flip flops. Yep, I said it, T flip flops. So, let's get started. T flip flops are also known as toggles. Whenever the T changes from off to on, the output toggle will, uh, the output will toggle its state. A useful way to use T flip flops in Minecraft could be, for example, a button connected to the input. When you press the button, the, to the output toggles, the door opens or closes, and it does not toggle back when the button pops out. So basically, it acts like a switch, only there's no on-off state. It's just press it once, and it will change it. Cha the circuit itself will change its state. Okay. Now, um, it is also a core, the core of all binary counters and clocks, as it functions as a period doubler, turning two input pulses into one output pulse. Okay. Now, Design A has a large footprint, but it's easy to build. Uh, it's essentially a JK flip-flop, if you guys can remember from design, uh, from this design. See, it's pretty much the same thing, only you just take out the J and K. Uh, Alright, and it has the same state. What's happening is you're the clock now, so remember the complementary function from the last video. You're basically having, causing it to happen because both the uh, locks are off it, the J and K are off it. So now that's basically what's happening here so as you can see if that was a door for example um, if that was a door for example it would be all maybe closed now the door is open you press button again now it's closed okay now um, designs D and E will go over here they're uh, pretty much they're taller than others but a single block wide both are shown here um, D is level triggered, and you all know what that means. Watch what happens. Uh, this basically sends out a pulse. Now, you may be wondering what the use for this is, but um, D is level trigger, which can save space when distributing one input pulse to multiple flip-flops. Basically, you're, this is basically a distributor for a pulse, in this case, because it's a toggle. Goes on and it goes on once. It's a so that's it. Still functions as a T flip flop. It's just that it's not the one with an edge trigger like Design E here, where in which the output Q will turn on when you press it once. Press it again, they will turn off. So D is if you want a toggler for uh, pulses, and E is if you want a design for doors, so to speak, or anything else you can think of. Now, you can see they're the same thing here. However, um, this is implemented, which allows it to have its on-off state. If this isn't implemented, it gives you the pulse. Now, again, these things can be uh, pretty much changed. The edge trigger here makes this unit insensitive to the duration of the input pulse. Meaning, so no matter how long it's on, It will stay like that, uh, which makes it easy to actually daisy chain multiple units to create a binary counter or period doublers for slow clocks. So you can chain these guys together from the outputs there to other ones, for example. Okay. Now, um, the signs are based off of a vertical gated D latch. If you kind of remember, you can see this looks familiar from the D latches, which are, uh, I think, over there. But I'm not going to bother. Um, anyway, uh, that's what they are. Now move on to the designs J and K here. Um, design K here is made uh it's a simplification it's a simplification made of design J. Or no sorry, let me jump to J first. Yes. Okay. Um, design J is the smallest design of a T flip flop that has an edge trigger. Um, depending on a combination of game modes, single player or survival multiplayer or single player the orientation and game version, the repair delay may need to be adjusted to limit output flickers on state changes. This was it took me a while to figure this one out, but um, on the wiki it tells you to have these this at a one tick and that at a one tick. However, I'll just show you what happens if you do. That happens, but then nothing else happens there. So you put this to four. You put this to two. And just to show you that it's not pulsing whatsoever, just put some blocks here. And there you go. So that fixes it up. So in, if, if you're looking at this on the wiki, 
it's four here and two here, not one and one, okay? And this stays four, and that should clear it up. Um, as I was saying, though, uh, it needs to be adjusted, and it has reported to be unreliable, so, I mean, it's a little buggy. Now, however, we got design K here. Design K is a simpler version of design J, and it's more reliable. The period of the looping part is increased to three ticks in order to match the length of pulses. It was adjusted by the edge trigger. It is a better solution to, stability, to the stability problem of design J here. Let's press this button. On. Off. Hold it. Nothing will happen. So this is a really small and nice design for a T flip flop. Uh, now what I'm going to quickly do for you guys is I'm going to show you a really a bonus one. Yeah, a bonus one. Okay. I normally don't do piston circuits. I plan to. Wh I will. Just right now, I want to focus on the mostly redstone circuits without pistons being used in them. Just because piston circuits are a whole other thing, and they are they make things a lot simpler. However, to understand them, it's better off to use actual circuitry, just because it's more widespread and you can have a better visual of it. Now, anyway, this is designed M, bonus design. Now you see the pulse here quickly turns these things, the torches here, off, as you can see. And when they turn back on, because there's one block here, they will quickly change their input. So the reason it didn't stay, the reason this stayed open with the block is because the circuit here, the block was actually what was powering it. So that kept it on. However, the moment it turns off, they reset themselves to the point where they can change out. And when they change out here, this block has a tor redstone torch beneath it. And that sends a signal up into here, which turns on your output. However, you do this again. The block is open, so the circuit's cut, and now it turns off. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we, Like I said, I will eventually get around to doing uh, piston circuits, which will add us a lot new circuits for T flip flops. Uh, they're very useful. Like I said, they're toggles, so you use them for input pulses. And we will continue on next time with monostable circuits. But until then, like I said before, uh, spread the word and like, subscribe, favorite, do whatever else you feel like. Thanks very much, guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye.